The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. This morning, the TV Mass comes to you from St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Grove City, Florida. Children tell our hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Hear the love of Christ shall and divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us begin as we begin all good things of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to you attain your promises, heirs to the treasures of heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock, and calves from the stall, improvising to the music of the harp, like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils, yet they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. 
lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who alone has immortality who dwells in unapproachable light and whom no human being has seen or can see to him be honor and eternal power amen the word of the Lord thanks be to God Jesus Christ was rich, he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord jesus said to the pharisees there was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and died sumptuously each day and lying at his door was a poor man named lazarus covered with sores who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us, you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets let them listen to them. He said, oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if anyone should rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we hear in that gospel today about the rich man and the poor man. You know, I think we've all been through one of those experiences in our life where we met someone who was poor. You know, I remember when I was in Italy, there was this young man who was begging on the street. And I said to myself, you know, um, he had nice shoes. You know, he had a nice kind of outfit. And he was a young man, but I said to myself, you know, he looks pretty good, so, you know, I'm not going to give him any money because he looks good. I, I judged by appearances. But, you know, I followed that young man just to see, you know, just to see what would happen. That he was he, he out there begging, you know, just to trick people is what I was thinking, trick people. 
But I followed him. And after I followed him for a while down to the Tiber River, you know, I saw where he was living. He was living in a box right on the Tiber River. And boy, did I feel bad. I realized I had made a prejudgment. And yet this guy was living lower than I was, right? Okay, that gives us a little setup in your mind. You've been through this experience before where you have met poverty. The question is, how do you respond to it? When you live in that spiritual life, your money, your belongings, everything belong to your spouse, belong to God, right? And I don't mean your human spouse, all of you. Belong to God, okay? Everything you have belongs to him. And so the richness of the spiritual life is only you, your internal person, your praise, your worship, your love for God internally. Now, if you look for it externally, you will guard it. You will make it precious. So if your life is money, and the way to judge that is just to see how much you worry about it. If your life is money, then that will be your focus. It won't be the spiritual life. It won't be the cross. It won't be that lover whom you seek, okay? If fame is the thing that you want, power to be at that first table, okay, table number one, if that is your wish, you'll have it, but that's it. Right? Because it brings you no other happiness than what you receive at that moment. You see, when we focus our internal life onto something good instead of bad, that's when life changes. That's when you will change. Riches in itself can be a weight for the spiritual life if your mind is consistently on it. And so our Lord almost compares this now with this rich man and with this poor man, this Lazarus. Here they are meeting in life, and yet God is saying, the one who is poor will be first in my kingdom. Not so much poor because of his pocketbook, poor because inside, right, the love grows. Whenever poverty is inside, love gets to grow. So today, during this week, and all of you at home too, Remember to focus on God. Remember to put your heart into him. And in this way, we shall live with God forever. May our Lord bless you always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. Amen. Now at this time, let's bring our prayers and petitions before God, our Heavenly Father. For the church, may God help each one of us live in a manner worthy of the call we have received. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with positions of leadership, may the Holy Spirit guide them in attentiveness to the needs of all who are placed in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with physical, emotional, 
or mental struggles, may God grant them healing and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our neighbors in need of prayers and for those who have no one to pray for them, may God enfold them within mercy and grant them peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, ruler of heaven and earth, hear our prayers offered today in humble submission to our will. And we bring, you, and we bring this to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, through the earth work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrary heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord. My sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleased to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all my sin. Thank you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so the angels and archangels with the throne and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Hello, my love. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us now into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us extend to each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, dear God. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. My Lord and my God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter my roof. 
I say but the word, and my soul shall be. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching TV Mass. The TV Mass is made possible because of contributions from viewers like you. To make a contribution to TV Mass, please send your check to the Diocese of Venice, care of TV Mass, 1000 Pinebrook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. And you can view this Mass anytime you like on the Diocese of Venice website. Visit dioceseofvenice.org and click on the Televised Mass button. Oh, come.